What's it time for, kids? What's up, Wednesday? Hey, guys, I'm Kelly Nyberg, and welcome back to What's Up Wednesday. We are so sorry that for the very first time ever, we did not have a What's Up Wednesday or a new segment for you last week. Unfortunately, both Jason and I were sick with different things last week, and so we had to take a break. But we're excited to be back this week and bring you some fresh content. All right. It is Wednesday. This was the last day for Sioux Falls Public Schools, so congrats kids on being out for summer. And it is time to celebrate with these events coming up this weekend. First of all, starting Friday and going throughout the weekend, head out to the beautiful Lake Lorraine for their first big summer event of the year. It's Suns Out, Fun's Out. Flow and Paddle is officially opening for the season on Friday and you are invited to come celebrate. If you've not been out there yet, pay attention. It's a great time. If you enjoy being outside, being active, you love being on the water, this is perfect for you. You can enjoy Sioux Falls' only yoga on the water. As you can see by the photos, it looks pretty cool. And if you can't do a handstand, I'm sure you're still gonna be okay to go out there. I'm sorry, headstand. <laughs> Gymnast here, I gotta get it right. All right, the only yoga on the water, as well as kayaking, pedal boarding, a multi-person stand-up paddle board, that sure looks like a lot of fun, and more. There will be stand-up paddle boarding lessons as well by Flow and Paddle. Select experiences and rentals are buy one, get one 50% off through the weekend to celebrate Memorial Day. So it's a great weekend to get out with your significant other, your kids, your friends and be active and enjoy the first weekend of summer. And as of Tuesday afternoon, when we're filming this What's Up Wednesday, it looks like Friday is gonna be 80 degrees and Saturday 85. But this is South Dakota. You never know, we could have a blizzard this weekend too. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, Friday, during the lunch hour, after a two year hiatus, obviously due to COVID land, uh, Dakota News Now is bringing back Fridays on the Plaza with James Dean Acoustic. So this is kind of a fun event. In case you weren't aware of previous years, on every Friday, Dakota News Now invites musicians from all over the region to play for, I believe, about an hour in front of their downtown studios. You can bring your own lunch or there will be food trucks around with a variety of options for you to choose from and purchase as well. Okay, to kick off What's Up Wednesday, we mentioned that school is out for the summer. And parents, this is a great way to celebrate your kids' good grades. On Saturday at Nerdvana, it is free Pokemon for good grades. Nerdvana is ending the school year with a bang. So kids, grab your report cards. Hopefully they're good. Bring them in because for every three A's or an A equivalent, on this second semester's report card, and this is each kid grades first through eighth, will receive up to two free packs of Pokemon cards while supplies last. So if you got good grades and you're a Pokemon fan, head down to Nirvana on Saturday. Moving into Sunday, it is the Union Gospel Mission of Sioux Falls' Rock the Block Community Outreach. This afternoon party will be right outside of the Union Gospel Mission's main office and will feature great food, live entertainment, bike safety education, which is great for summer, and community outreach opportunities. Now, if you aren't familiar with the Union Gospel Mission of Sioux Falls, their mission is that they care for the needs of the community with compassion while sharing the hope of Jesus Christ. They provide shelter shelter, food, clothing to those in need. They also restore confidence and stability to those struggling. They provide education and health services, and they support those going through the journey along the way. So it's a great way to get out and support them. All right, Monday, it is Memorial Day. That's what the weekend is all about. It is Monday. And many of us, when we think about Memorial Day weekend, we think about, you know, it's the first weekend of summer, uh, partying, boating, getting out on the lake. But do you know the real reason and meaning behind Memorial Day? Well, the national holiday was established to honor those who have died in American conflicts. It was originally called Decoration Day, and it originated during or at the end of the American Civil War, 
when citizens would place flowers on the graves of those who had been killed in battle. Uh, just shout out to Nyberg's Ace. <laughs> uh, starting Friday, our five Nyberg's Ace locations will be handing out roses too, to customers to put on the graves of the fallen soldiers that they know. So that is while supplies last, and it's a great way to honor those who have served our country and who have died for our country. Again, that's at all Nyberg's Ace locations. But back to my topic here. <laughs> the Civil War claimed more lives than any kind conflict in U.S. history with over 520,000 casualties, and it required the establishment of the country's first national cemeteries. So this year it actually is extra special because it is on May 30th. Well, it used to always be on May 30th from 1868 to 1970, but that changed in 1971 to be, to be observed on the last Monday of May. So this Monday, we're taking it back to its origins. So it's kind of unique that it just happens to land on the 30th. All right, a special way to celebrate Memorial Day. The Sioux Falls Municipal Band will be performing Monday morning at 10 a.m. at the Veterans Cemetery. The concerts are free and open to the public. They're a great band, a uh, pretty big band as well. And they will have more performances going on throughout the summer. Again, free and open to the public. All right, thanks for tuning in to another What's Up Wednesday. A lot of stuff going on this Memorial Day weekend. If you are going boating or to your lake cabin or traveling, please stay safe. Kids, have a great summer. We'll be bringing you so many fun activities and things to do as a family, as singles, as couples all summer long. So keep tuning in to What's Up Wednesday. We'll see you next week.